today's video, we're gonna show you guys a full step-by-step -step how to on building a pickleball court. Since we're butting up the asphalt here, the first thing you're gonna do is snap and cut a line. We are prepping a 30 by 60 area because our pickleball court is going to be 20 by 44 feet. So we're looking for 29 now. 28. Right here. So your next step is going to be excavation. So we just bought our brand new skid steer. So we've elected to use a skid steer for this job or any other type of excavation machine. Since this is a pickleball court, we want this to be as flat as possible to make the court as even for both sides. But with all the rain we get in Oregon, we are gonna need some grade slope. So with our rotary laser, we're gonna be marking out in between an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch per foot of grade from high side to low side. Now that we need to get our rock in, we're gonna be using three quarter minus and as always, we're gonna be conveying that in. Next, you're going to set your forms and lay down your rebar. Laying down your rebar, you're going to want to make sure you use adobe blocks right here, which will help lift up the rebar so it sits in the middle of your concrete so it stays strong. We're at the pickleball court and it's four day. We got our forms set up, finished, everything's buttoned up, and we're ready to go. Very important when you're pouring a pad this size to make sure you get a line pump because otherwise the truck won't be able to reach everything. This makes it a whole lot easier. So we leveled and smoothed out our pad with our pole floats. Now we get a room finish.
pour has been done and the concrete has had its time to dry and it looks great. Now the only thing left is to paint the court and throw up our nets. Let's play some pickleball.